This video is brought to you by The Green Room, a thriving community of thrifters. Bonafide Hustler here. Bonafide Hustler here. I got about three and a half hours to thrift, and I'm gonna do it with a Green Room member. If I die young, bury me in satin, lay me down in a bed of roses. American Idol, here I come. Oh man, I'm gonna be on The Voice one day, I swear. What's up guys? Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the inside of the hybrid spaceship. I'm cruising through the galaxy at zero miles an hour, but still getting about 47 miles a gallon. About to hit some thrift stores, but we gotta pick up max. Update on the weather, cloudy, and uh, about 40 degrees right there. Yeah. Talladega. I don't really like that song though, but whatever. So I'm currently wearing probably the most hideous clam dergo looking crap ever, but uh, I am wearing these hideous Reebok shoes that I just got. Oh, they're so terrible. I, so I showed them on Periscope, by the way, and uh, they're so comfortable, but they're hideous. So I don't know where that really puts me. They are the ugliest shoes in the world. I don't always wear kicks, but when I do, I wear the crappiest ones I can find. And by the way, those are ankle socks, I swear. And just because I'm sitting down, it makes it go uh, kind of up, whatever. But I don't want to wear two socks today before workout. I'd rather just wear my workout socks now. I know I'm not weird like that. Someone please help me out out there. I'm not the only one that thinks like this, hopefully. Now, Max has been in the green room for about, I don't know, two years maybe? And uh, he lives in Austin. There was a point where he lived also in San Marcos, which was an hour away, but since Austin was such a good town, he would come here all the time. So now that he lives in Austin, I thrift with Max here and there, wherever I can. And uh, let's go check out what he's up to. <laughs> All right, so I'm in the spaceship with Max. We're gonna go thrifting. You ready to hunt? Yeah. What are we gonna do today, man? We're we gonna do some thrift stores, maybe some big box stuff? Yeah, sure. All right, so we're gonna do that, and then I'll probably get some tacos or one of those things. Um, see how far we can get under this uh, current energy that we got, but I can see a dopio. What's up? Look at my bumper, it's all messed up. Look at your bumper, it's all messed up. Yeah. I mean, it looks pretty good to yeah, me. I got it right, dude. Oh, you did? Yeah. What rear ended do you nothing? A car, two cars. It must have been a smart car. It doesn't look like too many things. Oh, okay. Now I see it. All right. I don't know if this is gonna make out on video, but yeah, still. <laughs> so yeah, we might we might be getting a dopio here pretty soon. We're just gonna try to go to our first goodwill like right now. Oh, this person's really close to me. All right. So this is the Lowe's parking lot that we're gonna be having the meetup at, by the way. So we got this green room meetup coming up this weekend, man. Are you gonna show up? Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the morning for sure, but I don't know about the rest yet. Okay, cool. So the garage sale segment in the mornings from like eight to 11, and we're gonna take all the rumors and whoever wants to join, it's a free thing. So if you're interested in going to this thing, then check out the link below, get into that private Facebook group. And that way you can see the itinerary and where we're gonna be and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's occurring this weekend. January the 9th, Rake and Profit's coming to town and we're gonna go garage selling with a bunch of green rumors and a bunch of other random people. It's a free event, come check it out. Max and I have arrived at our first Goodwill. Um, have you been in this one before? Yeah, a lot of times. Many times, right. So uh, let's get into this one and uh, see if we can find anything in here. All right, we're fresh out of that Goodwill. Max, what'd you get, man? Uh, I got an Etro Milano shirt. Is that good? Yeah, it's a nice pattern. It'll sell for like probably 30 to 50, something around there. Cool, what'd you pay? Seven. Seven, nice. I popped on this Telestrations game right here. I've actually hustled this before, and I sold my last one like four weeks ago. So this is five bucks here. Amazon's coming in at like 30 bucks. So instantly in the money on this one. There we go, 46 rank, by the way, crazy. Now we're at this Savers that was like right down the street. Max and I are having good conversations, but anyway, 
We're in here. I'm actually ready to go, man. Yeah, let's go. Do you ever find anything at the Savers? Yeah, here and there. Here and there, cool. I find stuff at the Savers all the time, so let's go check this one out. Get out of the hybrid, single touch. Oh, well. Wow. It's a pretty good size save. Next goes right for the clothes. I'm try to find some deals here. So I popped on two VHSs, they're a dollar a piece. This one's, I got a 190K rank, so I'm experimenting a little bit on this one. This is going for about 19 bucks, and this Lion King 2 right here, Simba's Pride, is uh, about a 55K rank and selling for about 11. So this will probably yield about five, and after fees and everything, this will probably yield about 13, eh, 12 or so. So we'll see, that's pretty, still pretty good money in my book. Max, what'd you pop on, man? Oh, my bad. Dude, don't be like holding out, bro. I'm sorry, I forgot. Damn. Same. This guy. <laughs> is this 20 questions, people edition? Oh my god, total winner. How many, okay, what is that going for, man? Uh, I can get like 16 FBA, but I'm gonna probably put up a little bit more. Yeah, put it up for higher because those yeah. things usually sell very close to check in day. Those are really, yeah, good. it's like pretty good rank. It's decent. Nice, man. Yeah, I have this like super old Bears jersey. It's from the 80s. I can definitely tell it's from the 80s. Like, Whoa. there's no name on the back. So like, who was number, is it 18? Yeah, I actually looked it up and there's like a few players it could have been. So I don't know, I just know if some collector's gonna want it. Yeah, 18. Wow. Oh, man. Cool, then, man. Like, uh, this is like a really old champion. Uh, so tag. what do you think it's gonna be worth? I'm probably put up for 50 and just see how it goes because it's definitely a collector's item. All right, well there you go. So we're at the Cafe Medici right here. Now the day has turned out to be really beautiful. We got a dog barking right here. He's yeah, not making any money, he's pissed. Um, but well, yes, yeah, so we're gonna go into this coffee shop right here and get a dope here. Alright, we got the dopio, leaving the Medici. Oh yeah. Oh! You good? Shit. Damn it. <laughs> no, we can always get that out of the, the seatbelt. Not a huge deal. All right. <laughs> oh, thank you. There we go. Lifesaver. Lifesaver. Max got too excited with his dopio here. Um, Max, okay. Still what alive. have you done to my seatbelt? Sorry. That's pay a cleaning fee. <laughs> what have you done to my seatbelt? He got too excited with the dopio. If you had to I'm describe saying. it to the people out there in YouTube land who have never had a dopio and much less never had a dopio with a bona fide hustler, what do you guys, what do you think, man? Uh, it's like, it smells like coffee beans. I don't know. Uh, Is, would you say it's inviting or like it smells like uh, too strong? What do you think? It smells pretty strong. It depends if you like strong coffee. All right, let's look in yours. There we go. Here's mine. And uh, let's check out what this thing tastes like. Go for it, man. Boy, this is a good one, isn't it? Ah! It's good, dude. What do you think, man? It's good. <laughs> oh, it's a one R right now. We let it sit for a while, um, but it's good. It's real good. It's a one R. It smells good. That whole place was packed up too, man. There were like a ton of people there. It tastes really good. I think I like this more than that uh, the other place. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think you've had like two dopios with me already. Oh, this is good. Now I'm ready to go. I'm really ready to hustle. So I think we should go to a Goodwill, a Target, uh, ooh, a secret place that usually only the green room knows about, and then maybe another Target, a Toys R Us, and then a Goodwill. That's the uh, aftermath of the dopio. Max, feeling good now? Yeah. Where's where's the dopio on your body at this point, man? I like. Uh. Where is it now? Because it's, it's already traveling down. Right is it? here somewhere. It's down here. Okay, my, my dopio is right around uh, my nipple area. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, that's where it is, and it's progressing down my body at a rapid pace. We should be uh, flying and buying here in a second. But we're at the Lake Austin Goodwill. Through the sunroof. Look at that. There we are. Lake Austin Goodwill. We're going to get into this place. This happens to be my favorite Goodwill in town. Only problem is it happens to be the most expensive Goodwill in town too, oh, yeah, right? For sure. But when you hit this place, which we've done numerous times all the time, then, you know, it's one of those dependable Goodwills. I'm sure in your hometown that you guys have that as well. So uh, don't forget to hit your awesome Goodwill up as many times a week as you can. It, do it does deliver a whole lot. There's no mystery. There's no luck. If you visit the best Goodwill all the time, you'll make good money. It's 
we're kind of filling out the cart right here. Got some spray chalk. Some really good condition five fingers. Maybe a game I might buy. He's buying some 574s. All right, you ready to split, man? Yeah, let's go. Cool. Okay. So I uh, popped on these five fingers right here. These are pretty good condition, actually. These are amazing because I had to beat a shoe hustler to get these five fingers, man. I had to like freaking duke it out and get to that cart before he got to it. But anyway, 10% uh, off with all this. So this is around $8.20. I think I can um, sell this for about somewhere between 40 and 50. The best part about these five fingers, guys, is if you have a pretty big enough poly or manila envelope, you can put them in it and it's usually a first class rate. Second score of the day, super spray chalk, decent rank, about 36K. Spent uh, four bu uh, five bucks on this and uh, I'm gonna sell it for about 40 on FBA. And then Max popped on some 574s. Yes, yeah, some New Balance 574s. Nice, those are cool. Like There's a huge following for these New Balance 574s, man. They make so many of them, but mm -hmm. people love those shoes. And that happens to be like the material that the backpacks are made out of. Yeah. So it's real good. Canvas. That looks good, man. Soul. Yeah. Man, look at this. Oh, I love that song. Cream is a good song. Cream is a good song. Guess what band we're talking about. Anyway, we're here at the uh, Target. It's a beautiful day, man. This really makes me want to get outside and do some stuff. But we're going to see what we can find in this place. Okay, we're walking out with some stuff right here. We're about to go check out. Let's go do this. He got some of those Hero Masters as well. And it's really cool uh, Age of Ultron like Legends thing, which is pretty cool. I like that. How much was that, man? Uh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Yep. Selling for? 40. Nice. So Max and I are working up quite the appetite. We're gonna eat at Chipotle today. This place is good. You know, I think 70 or 80% of this stuff now is uh, A, non-GMO, B, it's organic. So we love Chipotle. I do, at least. Let's go in this place and eat some food. See, look at all that good stuff. All right, we got a bowl right here. We got Max on the tacos. It's good. Carnitas, chicken, black beans, pinto beans, white rice, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of sour cream. That's how I like it. We are at a Target. I'm actually closing my door with my kicks because I got super shocked earlier. Never mind. Um, hold on. <laughs> nice. So we're at this Target where uh, looks like some people are putting up the tea. That's freaking, it's freaking fascinating right there, guys. We're about to go in here and just check out the same, you know, clearance section and all that kind of stuff, and see if we can find anything. It's basically what you got to do. We're so close to this one, and then after this, maybe one goodwill, and we're done. All right, so we didn't find anything in there. We did look, we did scan, but we didn't find anything in there. So we uh, we're gonna go to this goodwill here in a second. I'm backing up the dump truck. We'll be there in like two seconds. I'll close it with this. I don't want to get the shock. I don't want to get the shock. So we're at this last goodwill right here. Max attack right here is about to go in. Beautiful day in Austin and the day has just really come around strong. So uh, I feel pretty good about my hustles today. It's not the craziest best day, but it's not the worst day ever. So we're gonna pop in here, see what we can get. Come with us. Hmm. Looks like Stinson, no Clifton's. Some Clifton Hokas. That's interesting. Oh, pretty roached out. Right, looking around, looking around. This is what you gotta do. So I've already found this really cool roller coaster thing from back in the day. Some space warp stuff. This is super old school. And this uh, Toro Loco car. Definitely gonna pop on these two things. I'm pretty sure. You guys want to see something funny? You used to call me on the cell phone late night when you need my love. All right, so I popped on this 12 inch globe right here. It's a vintage globe and uh, it's going into my booth for about 40 bucks. I paid 757 for it. Uh, that remote radio control thing is going to FBA right here. 80K rank, $3, uh, going for about 38, surprisingly. It's crazy, the El Toro Loco one. Uh, then a vintage space warp. Look at this throwback right here, roller coaster. It's pretty much new inside. I don't see any of this pieces even broken apart and built. So this thing looks brand new. That's what I bought. And uh, this one I might build myself or put it in my booth for like 30 bucks. We'll see. Oh, I got this reference at Tiffany's clock. Nice. Yeah. We're going to put it on eBay? Yeah, I'm going to do eBay for 40. Okay, we're going to say goodbye to Max. I got his shoes here. We're going to put it in the Max Mobile. All right, Max. Well, I guess I'll see you here on Saturday, right? Yeah, for sure. You're going to be at the meetup? Yeah. 
Cool. All right. Well, thanks for rolling. There's the handshake. And then uh, we'll see him on Saturday. The meetup's going to be amazing right here in this parking lot. This is where we're meeting to do garage sales. All right, Max, I'll see you on Saturday. Right. Take Later. it easy, buddy. You too, man. All right. So I'm going to go to the antique mall, drop off this globe, and pay my rent. Let's go. Get this uh, price tag off. Oh, you hear my phone? You hear my phone? Guess what the ringtone is. All right, so the price tag is off the globe. I'm bringing it in the booth. I'm gonna stamp it for 40 bucks. And off we go. Let's play Follow the Globe. We have to make airplane noises. We have to. Uh, make sure that no price tag is on this thing. Looks good. And uh, booth is looking very, very crazy. So I'm gonna definitely put this globe right here and then work on this booth a little bit for one second. All right, the booth looks pretty decent. Looking awesome. All right, so there's more of the booth. Cool shirts. Hasn't sold yet. Probably any day now, I would think. Just some random stuff. Here we go. We have medieval pine mugs. Pretty cool. All right, well, I'm out of here. I'm ready to go. All right, so it's later in the day. I hope you enjoyed the video. I just got done doing cardio, riding my bike every single day for an entire year. And I still gotta go into the car and unload all the crap that I bought today. But if you guys wanna check out something really neat, go check out my Periscope. I Periscope multiple times a day at YouTube Hustler. And until the next Bonafide Hustler video, I'll talk to you soon. Take it easy and goodbye! Good, as you can see, for going on the street, and it's got a 